In the 21st century, hacking is not limited to the realm of computer information. The newest hacking practice is social engineering. Social engineering is the art of using the human condition of trust to gain information or access that is not permissible to be accessed by the person seeking it. This is a largely unexplored realm of thought, but it has many implications today both in and out of the business world. One of the easiest ways to use social engineering is through acting and actively lying to people in order to glean information. We as humans are taught to be a generally trusting species. We thrive on interpersonal communication and the sharing of information and ideas. We tend to talk to complete strangers while waiting in line at a store, or when we are walking down the street either in our own neighborhood or while seeking directions. A social hacker would take advantage of these traits to glean information that is generally private in a way that their mark doesn't even realize or think that they are giving up that information. Three examples can illustrate social engineering through interpersonal communication. The first is the case of a burglar casing a neighborhood. He walks down a street looking for someone in a front yard. Perhaps the burglar is walking a dog, or just acting inconspicuous with his actions blending into the community. After finding a person in their yard, the social hacker starts up a social conversation, or asks for directions. The neighbor is most likely unsuspecting and happy to oblige, and the burglar need only offer up a casual story about living in the neighborhood. The neighbor might ask about the dog the burglar is walking, or start up a friendly banter. The conversation turns to vacations, and the neighbor mentions that he is going out of town with his family. This gives the burglar a time when the house will be empty. A persuasive social hacker would then mention that home invasions scare him, and that he is thinking about getting an alarm. The neighbor would then probably either confirm or deny if he or she has one, thus giving the burglar detailed information about the security of the house. And with that, the social hacker has gained all of the information he needs for a successful robbery, and the neighbor is none the wiser. Another way to use social engineering for intrusion is in the corporate world. Many corporations or buildings housing them are kept secure with the sign-in desk or security at the front. Though the illusion of security is there, oftentimes the actual practice of securing the building is more lax. Most security guards, bored with the monotony of checking identification badges all day, become less observant and perform the action mainly for show. There are ways to get past this kind of security if a person is persuasive enough. It is quite easy to gain entry into restricted areas in these companies by simply faking that you have lost your ID or access card. Easier still is to act confident and as if you belong, and sometimes identification would not be required. Finally, it is possible to drop names that can be casually heard in the lobby to act as if you have more information than you do to gain people's trust. Finally, one of the easiest ways to gain information without electronic intrusion is through login hacking. Password stealing is easier than it sounds in today's business age. Most people in companies are so put off by the security measures put in place by their IT department, such as complex passwords that are alphanumeric in nature and are changed every 90 days. These people claim to be so bad at remembering login information that they need to write their password down and leave it out in the open in an easily accessible area. Other methods for gaining password information include conning a person at a water cooler to reveal a funny or memorable password or generally gleaning the information through conversation. Bottom line, many corporate employees do not think about the safety and security of corporate information, which leaves this information in the open. Social engineering may be a new field of study, but its implications are far-reaching. In a digital age, information is power, and as users and sharers of information, it is our duty to protect it, and be aware of the dangers that lurk near us by hackers that use social engineering as a tool to gain entry to places forbidden to them.